When we looked at a content flow from a high level, we mentioned that both developers and content creators use the web app, right? Contentful web app. And Contentful web app is not just a content editor. You can do a lot more things in there. Not only you create content type and content in the web app, you also create web hooks, you create your tokens, you install apps, and do many more things. So let's go ahead and explore different areas of Contentful Web App. I'm in Contentful Web App, and that's what you're going to see when you create an account in Contentful and log in. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, the very top, very right top, you can click on your icon and you can have this account settings. So those are basically the settings for your user. You can find your user profile here. You're going to have your spaces, right? And you can see that I have two organizations and one space in each. Right here, you can go to the organizations. You can see your organizations right here. Under CMA tokens, you have your content management tokens. And these tokens are used to manage content to create content types and also create a content, those tokens apply to your basically account, right? So they apply to the spaces, to all the spaces. So you don't have to issue content management tokens specifically for each space. And you can see that they can expire and they can be revoked. So, and you have to keep those tokens secret. They're going to be shown to you only once when you create, and then later on, you won't be able to see them. Now you also have auth applications right here. All right. So next, let's take a look at the organizations that I have. And I have two organizations, right? I have APR solutions and A to Z massage. So each organization has a space. I have a default space in A to Z massage and in APR solutions. I have a blank space. It's just the name of the space. It's not really blank. On the bottom right here, we have organization settings and subscriptions. Let's click on it and it gives you information about your organization. If you click right over here, you can see the name of the organization and the ID, right? You can see subscription right here, what I have, and I have a free subscription. And you can see that it gives me three environments, 25 content types and 10 K records. And only get this for free. So it's not a lot, but it's, it's good, good amount, you know, for kind of small website. Oh, you can see the spaces right here. And I only have one space. You can see your usage. And then you can see the users, right? I can only have myself right here, but you can invite more users. And on the free account, you can have up to five users. On uh, the teams right here, you can create the teams, you know, combine your users into the teams and give them access. Right here, you can see the apps. Those are your apps that you create to use within Contentful. Now you can click on the tokens and you can see the same content management tokens that we saw before. And then you also can have access tools right here. Now let's go ahead again, click on the Contentful right here icon and choose one of the organizations. And let's go ahead and choose APR solutions, right? And we're going to click on a blank space. Since it's a free account, I can only have one space but you can have multiple organizations. So you can kind of cheat here by creating several organizations. So you get to get several spaces. So I'm usually dropped into the content, right? But here there's also home, right? There we can see the basic information. Welcome, Alex. There is a content model and a content model, as we are going to talk about is the collection of the content types right here. And I have different content types, right? have a landing page, welcome section, and other types. And I can only have uh, 25 types for the free account. So in the content, I have different content. And as you can see, you can filter your content. For example, for a welcome section content type, I have only one entry. But if I switch, for example, to call to action button, right, I'm going to have two pieces of content. And in total, you can have 10,000 pieces of content, basically, in the free account. You can also have more sophisticated filters than just the content type, right? If I type internal name, for example, right, I can select internal name, call to action or something, right? So, and then it's going to filter it for me. But anyways, uh, filtering of your content becomes important when you have a lot of content. And then right here, you can click on the media. 
and you can see I have basically uploaded some images right here. And media can be not only images, but can be PDF files and other files. Finally, if you go to apps, you can see marketplace right here. You can choose the apps to install and uh, Contentful has a lot of, a lot of apps. You can use uh, different integrations, like for example, with a Slack or a Cloudinary, and then you can check out your installed apps. Now I will have a JSON viewer app installed. And this app is used to check the content JSON that will be delivered to your website or an app that you are building. You can also create your own custom apps, and that's the area where you can build your own apps. Another important section is the settings sections, and it's again on the top right corner right here. If we click on it, uh, you can have your basically environment settings and you have your locales. Right, I have only one locale right here, and for free account, I can have two locales. The next thing that you have is a tags. You can define tags because when you get a lot of content, it will be easier to search for content using tags. Next, you're going to have some content preview section and home section. Also, you have a space settings. You're going to have your general settings right here. Right, you can change your space license. Now I have intro and it's a zero per month, right? If you click on it, you're going to see your plans. Free plan, it tells you what it includes. And then the next one is basic. So it's a little bit of jump from free to $300. And as I mentioned before, Headless CMS was really created for large companies, so they can afford to pay that kind of money. All right, let's go back to our organization and the space and continue looking through the settings. Right here, you also will have your users and you can add users from here as well. You're going to have roles and permissions. Contentful is very good because you can define a very granular permissions right on a user level and, or on a group level right here you're going to have environments and the environments as we talked about already are similar to your git branches you basically can branch out of master update your content types if it's working and then kind of combine it back into master and for free account you are allowed to have three environments so i can, can create two more environments here all right, so we can go to the next is API keys. That's an important section. So you can see that I have some API keys before we looked at the content management access token, right? But these keys are for your delivered content, right? So you can define space ID right here and you have your content delivery API token, content preview token, and you specify environments, right? To which it's going to apply. We will be using this section later on in our videos. Also, you have the CMA token, as we saw it a couple times already. This is token for content management. You have embargoed assets section. You basically can protect your assets with a secure URL. And then the webhook section. This section is also important and we're going to be using it. Here you can see that I have a webhook name and it's called AWS Amplify. So let's click into it and let's go to webhook settings and you can see this. This is the post request to my AWS Amplify. It fires when entry is published, unpublished or deleted. Right? And here you can filter what kind of entry you want to do, right? You can specify your environment. And currently I just did it for a landing page, right? But you can add another filter for other entries. And finally, uh, you have a usage in this section, right? And it's going to show you what you have right currently. All right, I have users. This is my role, basically one out of infinity, my environments, and then I have the environment usage. Next to settings, you have a docs. If you click on those docs, you can see the documentation basically getting started, API reference, you have tutorials. They're pretty good, actually. And here you have core concepts. So, and then also if you need help, there is a help right here next to your profile icon. And I have a help center, developer docs and learning centers. Learning center is pretty good. Please check it out and you can do your content full professional certification there as well. This is the high overview of Contentful Web App. I hope you enjoyed the overview of Contentful Web App. In the next video, we're going to take a look at 
content model. We're going to create content types and content. So please check out that video.